Hello there, it's Nick again. Uh, this time with more of a personal challenge, really. Uh, the idea was to make impact holes. Like... Sorry, I'll mute. Impact holes like these. Uh, as you can see, they have randomized rotation as well. Um, known issue for this is obviously if you hit like the character, it will apply the decal to the other character, which looks pretty funny. Um, of course, you can you can always um, put in a line that ignores the the pawn. I haven't done it yet, but uh, yeah, or you might keep it. You know, it's up to you really. It just, I think during gameplay you won't really notice, but of course, like if the character is just standing still and you shoot, you can see that the decal is not really moving with the character. But see, he moves his head, like you can. <laughs> the decal is moving, is not moving while the head is moving, but still like minor thing it can be fixed but uh, I would say it's pretty cool because it still spawns impact particles and everything so this is how I did it um, so on on hit in the projectile CPP you wanna sorry let me zoom in so like if get world then you set up the decal parameters which is effect or hit location uh, which is the hit impact point and all this normal impact normal and rotation hit normal dot rotation. The thing is, um, I randomized the roll offset because I wanted to, you know, sort of random. Otherwise it just looks the same, like you spawn always the same and never rotates and it just looks kind of basic. So you can put the float random roll offset and you put a rand range in there. So it randomized the rotation and the rotation. There you go. You define it here with F rotator, uh, rotation pitch, rotation yaw, rotation roll plus random roll offset. Then you spawn the decal here. Do not forget also to make a U property edit anywhere with the U material interface pointer impact holes. I called it because uh, you're going to have to put it here. So uh, you put you can play statics spawn decal at location. Then you get the world decal material, uh, decal size, hit location, rotation, lifespan. That's pretty much it. And uh, the lifespan, of course, uh, you can adjust this as needed. So for me, it was 10. So it's 10 seconds. You can put less, more, whatever. And the decal size also. You can uh, fix it up as you wish. For me, 16 was quite good, I would say. Like, it's noticeable, but it's not overwhelming. It's, it's just enough. But really, don't forget to make this U property because uh, once you compile, then you're going to have to go to the BP projectile bullet and then you're going to have to set it here. Uh, the question is, what do I set? Well, I downloaded this very basic, um, yeah, like a uh, hole. It's kind of stylized. I liked it like this. Uh, make sure it has an alpha channel because you need transparency here. Then you create a new material. Once you create the material, make sure you select the output and you make it a deferred decal translucent. And then you just plug in the alpha into a, don't plug RGBA into opacity. Plug the alpha and then you plug the RGB into base color. Then you click apply and save. And that's it. Once you get in, there you go. You can pick this up. And there are the impact holes. Uh, as you can see, they're a little bit offset. It, right? Uh, it's not really gonna be. I didn't really bother fixing this because it, during gameplay, you, you're not really gonna notice if you're running around, shooting stuff. You know, like it's it's not really gonna be noticeable. You really have to sit there and just start shooting at the wall and be like, ah, oh, it's offset from my crosshairs. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really not noticeable. So during gameplay, it won't affect it at all. But of course, like if you just sit there, look at it. I mean, you can always fix it, you know, like with changing the location slightly, like uh, it's probably just just a few centimeters. It's like on the X. Yeah, it's, it's just a few centimeters, but it's seriously, I, I don't think it's important anyway. Uh, I hope this helps uh, if you want to implement it later on. I'll probably uh, impl try to implement this depending on the surface on the surface it hits. Uh, <laughs> I will figure out a way somehow. Um, might not be the easiest, but if I find a solution, I'll post it. Ciao.